Again, hey, fellas, it's a quiet Sunday um, afternoon. Decided to have something I haven't seen for a long time. This is a made in Japan Sapporo 350ml can, and the grand total is $7.50. Yeah, not the cheapest beer and so on, but um, I haven't seen this can in Australia ever. I remember drinking this in Japan. Out of those uh, machines they have everywhere. Put a few coins in or whatever, you get a couple of beers out. That's great. I don't know nearly every street. Everywhere. There's grouse. Get those lemon drinks. They got lemon flavoured water from the bottom of the ocean from three kilometers deep or something from the trench and that's fresh water and you drink it it's amazing wow pretty crisp plain well balanced got that Sapporo sort of flavour I haven't had for a long time, like 10 years. Yeah, usually the Sapporo I've bought here is made in Canada, the silver boards, but they're now made in Vietnam. Uh, I think I did a tasting on both of them on my channel. The Canada one, Canadian one's not too bad. Uh, not a real keen one on the Vietnamese one, it doesn't quite quite tastes the same as a Japanese one. This one's a bit more radioactive. Grouse. Oh, 750. What a big bloody good, wouldn't it? Anyway, now you realise how bloody expensive things are in Japan, the bull buggers. Very expensive over these. Very, um, Expensive to travel by train in short distances. Uh, yeah, a bit out of, out of control, I thought, the prices to travel. But anyway, it is what it is. Food was expensive. Way back then, like lunch was $17. It was like the cheapest lunch we could get. Yeah. Alright, enjoy the Sapporos. You go to Japan, you'll be drinking those. But you won't see them in Australia. You get the six packs, the bottles in, um, I think I've seen them in Dan Murphy's, but I don't think they're made in Japan. Anyway, have a look out for them. You want something different? It's not too bad. Wouldn't mind going back to Japan. Really, um, really advanced culture in the way that it's safe. You know, to walk around uh, late at night and, yeah, you feel pretty safe over there. It's, there's not that much crime, not many people steal things. So, yeah, you see people leaving expensive things out, they don't pack them away. Yeah, it's pretty good. I felt, yeah, my wife, daughter, they also said the same, that they could live there. It's just got a good feel about it. But the Japanese, they're, they're lovely. Um, as long as you don't want to live there. You know what I mean? I'd love you to go for a holiday there, learn about their culture, but I don't want you to live there. How do I look at Westerners or whatever you are? They're, they're racist as well, the Japanese. Like everyone, I reckon. Just about. Alright, it's too bloody windy, isn't it? Because there's no fires. I'll have to leave you with the windy support. Get back to you. Cheers.